subtract first bit 2a into a minus 3b plus 5c from 5a into 2a minus 3c plus b. So from the second expression, we need to subtract the first expression. So the first expression will come first. So let us start the solution. In solution, we are going to write 5a into 2a plus 2a minus 3c plus b minus. So they said subtract for that we should use minus minus 2a into a minus 3b plus 5c. Now we need to open the brackets. So let us multiply this 5 with 2. So 5 2s are 10. A into a is a square plus uh, in front of 5 there is no O sign that means it is plus. So plus into minus is minus 5 3s are 15 a into c is ac. Next one is 5 plus into plus is plus 5 into b. So in front of b there is no number that means there is 1. So 5 1s are 5 and a into b is a b next minus so minus into plus minus 2 a into a that is 2 a square minus into minus is plus 2 3s are 6 a into b is a b minus into plus is minus 2 5s are 10 a into c a c now first we will compare this uh, 10a square and minus 2a square that means we need to subtract 2a square from 10 that we we will get 8a square next one is we will take ab first so we are having 5ab and 6ab 5 plus 6 is 11 so 11ab next is ac so you can see AC minus negative 15 AC and negative 10 AC that gives us minus 25 AC. So this is the answer. Second bit 3x into x minus y minus z plus 3y into x minus y plus z plus 3z into x plus y minus z from 3 into x plus y into x minus y plus 3z into 2y plus z. So this is the second algebraic expression and this is the first one. So the second will come the first so that we need to subtract the first one from the second. So that's why we will write the second one first. 3 into x plus y into x minus y plus 3z to y plus z. So we need to subtract. So we will put the sign minus 3x into x minus y minus z plus 3y. So here we are having the negative sign that's why I need to differentiate it. So that's why I am putting the square bracket 3y into x minus y plus z plus 3z into x plus y minus z. So we will start from here. Let us write 3 here. We are having one identity. So the identity is a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square. So let me write the identity here in the box. So the identity is a plus b into a minus b which gives us a square minus b square. So here we will get x square minus y square plus let us multiply this 3. 3, 2 are 6. z into y is y z plus 3 z into z is z square 
minus uh, we can we will open this bracket square bracket afterwards first we need to open the inside uh, the brackets which are inside so 3 x into x is x square minus plus into minus is minus 3x into y is 3xy then is my plus into minus minus 3 x into z is zx plus 3 so here also we need to put a bracket we uh, so 3y into x is 3xy minus 3y into y is 3y square so plus into plus is plus 3yz so here we need to open the last bracket that is 3 z into x is zx plus 3yz minus 3z square so here let us multiply 3 into x square is 3x square minus 3 into y square plus 6yz plus 3z square now we can open this square bracket minus into plus is minus 3x square minus into minus is plus 3xy minus into minus is plus so 3zx plus into minus minus 3x y minus into minus is plus 3y square minus 3yz so plus into minus is minus 3zx minus 3yz minus into minus is plus 3z square now we open the brackets so what we have to do next we will write the common terms in single bracket so let us write down 3x square which is here and negative 3x square in one bracket so, so 3x square next is y so 3y square and we are having positive 3y square here so we can put 3y square minus 3y square next is z square so let us see z square 3z square is here so plus 3z square and 3z square is at the end so plus 3z square after that after that we are having 6yz which is left here plus 6yz and uh, 6yz and you can see yz here 3yz and 3yz so we can write 3yz minus 3yz so this 3yz is finished after 3yz we are having xy so let us see positive 3xy positive 3xy minus here it is minus 3xy plus lastly we are having 3zx 3zx minus 3zx so here we can cancel this 3x square minus 3x square that is 0 plus 3y square minus 3y square 0 3z square plus 3z square is 6z square 6yz minus 3yz there is 3yz so 3yz minus 3yz is 0 plus 3xy minus 3xy 0 plus 3zx minus 3zx 0 so what is left that is 6z square only 